I'm filming this video by 10 p.m. in the night, obviously. This should be enough reason for you to subscribe. <laughs> Let's get into the video. hello beautiful people welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber welcome back to another video my name is ada and i make faith-based and lifestyle content if you are a subscriber and you'll be watching my video you guys know that there's something different about this video i don't need to say too much but if you don't know what is different then go and watch my last vlog my birthday vlog but if you know you know okay for me to be filming this video by 10 p.m then that there's something different about this video so today's topic is very sober so what the word i don't even know but it's very like hmm, it's not as jumpy as my other topics and again i cannot shout because it's late in the night <laughs> but yeah we're going to be talking about church hurt today church hurts and i don't know why this topic was put in my heart to talk about because most of the topics i talk about they are things that i have experienced one way or the other most not like everything but this one was just like you know Ada, you need to actually talk about this there are so many people that don't even want to hear anything about don't even bring anything about god or god loves you or you know come and give your life to christ they don't want to hear it they're going to wipe you cord and it's because they've been hurt one way or the other they've experienced something that has made them decide that i don't think i really need this this church thing i don't really think i need god i think i can flex this life on my own then they might not even be rebels they might not be living their lives in a wayward manner but they're just like giving up on the thought of having you know a higher being over them and they're just like you know what i'm over it sometimes they might not even be atheists they still believe in god they just don't want to be assisted anymore so i'm going to be talking to those people today if you're here i, I actually felt like my audience <laughs> might not be the people because like i said these people don't even want to hear about god and my whole channel is god 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 but you know god will make you reach the right people the people that he wants you to reach and yeah let's talk about it so as you guys know i like to give definitions to most of my topics and you already know google is the place to go to and have i have my script here as always so but if you're not a subscriber you know and you don't watch my videos often then you will not know that i always have a script but i do have a script so yeah let me read the definition that google gave to me about what church hurt means so church hurt is experiencing emotional or physical pain that has been inflicted by the words or actions of someone in the church it might be a leader it might be a pastor it might be your friend it might be that youth youth leader or whatever just someone in the church that you felt like oh this person is you know he has given his life to christ or she has given her life to christ and they're just walking in christ and they'll do something and it's like i thought i i thought you were a christian so why would you do that to me you understand there are so many instances i've seen so many things i've seen no no let, let me not even go into that because that's not even why i'm here but i'm just going to talk to the person that has been experiencing this so i'm going to be looking at this from two different aspects the first aspect that i'm going to be talking about is when like i said when someone in the church hurts you so bad that you decide that i don't want to be here anymore i don't want to go to church i don't want to hear anything about god i'm over it and the second instance will be when people that things have happened to them and they feel like you know why did god let this happen to me why did god allow this you said oh you, you have good plans for me you love me you do this and you still allow this to happen or you've asked and asked for something and then the, you prayed you did everything and then that that quote-unquote bad thing that you were praying against still happened and it's like but i did everything you said i should do god why would you still allow this you don't love me you don't love me you everything is just a lie you know we're just lying to ourselves this and that so that those are the two aspects i'm going to be coming from 
so for the first aspect people in the church first thing i want to say is that um the people in the church the people that you see in church they are not god yeah they are not god i feel like so many people have held you know christians on a high pedestal not that they shouldn't be but so high that you remove the human side of them and you start to see them as god like oh if i'm yes if you meet a christian you're supposed to radiate the light of god radiate the love of god you're supposed to feel like this person is different from the rest okay but because you've had so much expectations you expect every single person in church to be like that it's not it's not going to be like that that's a shocker because one thing i'll tell you is that i don't, I don't even need to tell you because the, the bible already says it the bible already says it. jesus said jesus said in matthew 9 12 that healthy people don't need a doctor only sick people do the church is for sick people i think we forget that people are supposed to come to the church and be renewed you know give their life to christ come and experience god and decide that you know what i think this is worth doing so not everybody in church has given their life to christ not everybody in church has been completely renewed not everybody in church is spiritually mature that is why things like this are happening so we are supposed to have a relationship with god that's why he has made it easy for us to make, have a relationship with him directly yes you can have mentors you can have pastors you can have people you can have you know friends all those things that are important to help you build in christ but when push comes to shove you have to build on the solid rock your relationship with god has to be you and him not not and the only mediator that you should have between you and him is his son jesus not ada <laughs> shocker not your pastor not all these people you have to build a relationship with him so that you don't put people on a pedestal because people will hurt you people will hurt you and let me tell you that shocker you've hurt people too you've hurt people too nobody is perfect though nobody is above mistakes the same way that these people have done these bad things to you one way or the other you are the bad person in someone's story i am the bad person in someone's story so i'm not trying to justify their wrongs but i'm just trying to tell you that there's a human side there's a fleshly side that is why we have the holy spirit to help us contain these things another thing i'm going to say is that hurts people hurts people people that are hurt they hurt other people whether they know it or not they they tend even like there are some things that you'll be going through that would just reflect in your character. There are some things that you might be thinking about. Your heart, the state of your heart will reflect one way or the other on your character. Whether you try as much to curb it, or you try so hard to curb it or not, it's going to start seeping through. So if you have a lot of God in your heart, a lot of love in your heart, it's going to start seeping through. And people are going to see through the lines that this person has a lot of love in their heart but when you have a lot of hurt a lot of unforgiveness a lot of hate it's going to start seeping through because you feel like oh i don't like this person you know this person has done this done that i can never be like them let me tell you one thing the devil does when you are not forgiving towards someone when you don't forgive someone and i have experienced this before firsthand yes when you don't forgive someone or you maybe hate someone for something that they are doing you almost become a mirror of that person and it's so funny because it's like you're like this person is so but how can they do this how can they do that but when you don't forgive then there's a way the devil will turn it around and there will be a time where you will look at yourself and see that wow i'm just like this person i'm just like this person let's say somebody you know um <laughs> i don't even know what example the example that's coming to my mind is very silly um let's say a friend takes your boyfriend <laughs> And you're like, how can she do this? How can she do that? Do not even make it worse. Like, let's bring it down to this conversation. Like, she's a Christian and she does all this. And you're like, how can he how can she do this to me? Or how can he even do this to me? How can he fall for this temptation and everything? And then you enter in that relationship thinking that you know what? I'm gonna be with another person. It's going to seep through, baby. Because let me tell you something: if an opportunity comes for you to snatch another person's bubble. You will snatch it because you're going to be like, what is it to me? I saw I saw one silly sound that is like that is like um, on TikTok now that they were like, oh, I should leave your boyfriend, they leave my own. You see, 
the, like I said, there's a way the devil. This is just an example, just a funny example. It doesn't have to be like this, you get. <laughs> but there's a way the devil would do it, and you become a mirror of that person that you don't like. And that is why I say hurt people, hurt people. I've not gone to my points. I've not gone to my points, but I just need to, you know, say all these things for the first aspect. Now, for the second aspect, when you know people that feel like god allowed something to happen to them or god doesn't love them because they did this and did everything that the bible says they should do and then these bad things still happened so because of that i am no longer interested in anything that has the word g-o-g i don't have the answers to everything you know i can't explain everything because there are some stories i hear and i i'm just like i i don't even know what to do i don't even know what to say because we are still humans we don't understand god's plan we don't understand you know his ways are higher than our ways and everything and sometimes way too high for me to understand myself because like i said i've seen some stories and i've heard some things and i'm just like wow wow but let me tell you something that i know even though i don't know everything i know that god loves you I know that statement might seem very like don't don't even bring that near me. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear anything about that. Ah, I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear anything about that. I don't want to hear anything about that. <laughs> but it's the truth. It's the plain truth. And you have to remember that this world that we're living in, a lot of people are walking around and they are just evil. They are just evil people. You know, like I said you think god allowed this to happen you know he didn't do anything um a lot of scenarios are coming to my mind but i don't want to specify but what i just want to tell you is that god loves you god wants a relationship with you i know it's not something you want to hear right now but that is the truth that i know that i can tell you and this world is filled with a lot of bad people and the devil is hell-bent on making you think that god is not interested in your matter you know devil will orchestrate different different scenarios for you to give up that is what he wants he wants you to give up on god he wants you to forsake the garden of believers he wants you to be so hurt that you don't want to hear anything about god and that is not what god wants let me tell you something even though you've been running away god has been running after you he has he has been running after you there's no time that he has left you there's no time that you have said nothing you can do can separate you from the love of god he doesn't love like human beings he doesn't love like even the way i'm going to love you is not it's just a tiny fraction of how god is going to love you allow god love you allow god love you let go of this hurt and allow god love you he um there's this song that i love oh the overwhelming never ended i put the name on the screen in case you, you haven't heard it before you want to listen to it but the, there's a part i love where it's like um you know god lives in 99 for me like he left the 99 for you the 99 are okay not the one sheep that is wandering about and because that one sheep is wondering about <laughs> wolves are ready to devour it and he doesn't even know it feels like oh you know i don't need my shepherd controlling me talking to me. i don't need him i'm gonna go you know but god is steadily going after you because he loves you so much and he wants you he wants you to have him in your life okay Take it to God. Be vulnerable with Him. Take the pain to Him. Just, you know, pour out your heart. For me, I like to write out my heart because sometimes I don't have the words to say what I want to say. So I have a journal. If you want to write it, write it. If you want to say it, then just say it. In all things, what I'm just saying is just take everything to God. See, this pain that you're feeling or this hurt that you, you know, this wound that you're nursing allow god to turn it around into a testimony it will shock you because you feel like how can god do that like what can he do with this 
yeah you know i'm ready this hurts i don't want to hear anything no i just want to leave i'm okay living with it i'm okay living with it but you're not okay because the minute somebody comes you know sees you oh my god you're such a nice amazing person and unconsciously the person says something or does something that you know touches that wound <laughs> you know the wound is open and because it's open everything will just start to pour out and seep out like because it's not healed when you don't give when you don't heal from something it stays open but what i want you to do is allow god to take that open wound and heal it and let it just be a scar because when it's just a scar when somebody says something or touches them like you know when you have a wound and then it heals and there's a scar and people touch you you would have even forgotten about the scar and then randomly somebody would just touch them oh what happened to you here that's the same thing that's going to happen in this scenario but guess what this time it's not going to be painful to talk about it it's not going to be painful when people touch it it's just going to be you saying oh you know what let me even tell you how it happened how i <laughs> see how i <laughs> how i healed and how i'm here right now and that's what god wants to do with that wound you know he doesn't want you just carrying it all around and suffering you're suffering yourself being in pain you know you think you're not in pain until so like i said until somebody points it out or touches it unconsciously and then you know that wow i'm really hurting and i've not addressed this no matter how bad you think your situation is or no matter how far you think you've been running from god like i said god has been running after you he's there he's waiting for you to just call out his name you know and just pour out your heart to him trust me he already knows how you feel okay so don't try to like package it say how you feel say it journal it write it it doesn't matter just talk to god and let him you know turn that wound into a testimony turn that pain into a testimony you can be the voice that will help other people that have gone through this same pain that you're going through you can now tell them that you know there's a way out i'm out so there's a way out i can i can show you the way out this video has cut off like <laughs> almost four times and i have refilmed this almost four times actually four times so um i just hope that in everything that i have said that you've gotten a word for you you know and i just pray for if you're watching this video and this video directly relates to you and you know it's it's for you like i said i know that god is going to take this video to that one person or maybe two people three people whoever needs to watch this video i don't mind my job is just to make it um people have a very distorted view of who god is and this channel is just is here to change that view it's here to correct it and god to help me i'll keep saying the right things i'll keep doing the right things i'll keep helping you understand who god is so if this video is for you i just pray that god heals that wound and not only him healing it that you allow him to heal it that you allow him to love you you allow him to place people around you that will help you okay i just want you to have an open mind and also open your heart up to be loved and also to have love you know in your heart i hope that you feel so loved that you forget the pain and it's just a story it just it will just be a story this when you're telling it it's not going to have it's not going to have an effect any longer at this point you just want to help other people that have gone through it because you're like you know I, i'm okay now and i can help you be okay okay i hope that this video has done its purpose and i've said the right thing because most times i always forget what i've said i'm like and then i'll go back to it that's when i remember that oh i said this and i said that so yeah i've come to the end of this video and if you're a subscriber you already know what i always say before i close off my video and saying it here will be a repetition but i don't mind saying it again because this whole video is just to you know really go in depth on this and yeah before i go i just want you to know that god loves you god wants a relationship with you he's always with you all all things all things 
are working out for your good okay and there's nothing you can do that will separate you from the love of god i want you to remember this every second every minute every day every week every uh, every time you open your eyes and you wake up from the bed i want you to just remember this okay because it's the truth and the truth is the truth no matter how you try to taint it it is still the truth so until my next video i'll be saying bye for now bye Mwah.